Hey folks, and welcome to my thoughts on a comic. And today's comic is Legion of Superheroes in the 31st Century by DC. Now there is the death curse from Harry Potter, Avad Avada Kedavra in this one, so if you're by any chance squeamish about that, you've been warned. Also, spoilers. Alright, let's start. I just gotta make a quick comment. Um, this cover is way more dramatic than the actual story. Don't get me wrong, it's cool, but way more dramatic. Alright. So, this was written by Jay Torres. I hope that's correct. Uh, art is by Ethan. I'm not gonna even attempt that. That will be down below. Uh, colored by Heroic Age. Lettered by T Tarius Lan Lan Lanham. I don't know. Edited by Janine. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. And um, uh, ha Harry. How are you? Richards. Not sure. Cover is by Alex. Sare? Not sure. Uh, with Heroic Age. Oh, alright, sorry. Okay, yeah. So all of this will be uh, down below. So, this is based on the uh, cartoon, I think. And I, I'm pretty sure the cartoon came first. As I hear it, as seen uh, on the Warner Brothers uh, kids TV thing. Probably. So yeah, this is uh, you know the same style, I think. And uh, I don't know if it's all the stories from the cartoon, though. Right, so we start our stories with uh, some havoc going on. All uh, all star uh, starships. Sorry, mo motorcycle. So all uh, spaceships. Now it's the United uh, Planets in the thirty-first century. So aliens and shit. So suddenly all spaceships, any flying crafts of any kind, start all landing together. Because something's wrong in the, you know, the control where they're supposed to authorize uh, landings. And, you know, chaos ensues. Uh, some superheroes are already there. Uh, trying to, you know, to do something. And I've realized after reading this that a lot of the superheroes in this one have either boy or girl in their name. Phantom Girl, uh, was this? seriously, I, I never noticed that before, but suddenly it was like, holy shit, they didn't have many ideas, did they? But yeah, they're, they're trying to stop it, uh, to not stop, they're trying to, you know, do something. They call the, the headquarters of the uh, Legion, where we see uh, Brainy, this is the uh, older Brainy. Uh, it's like, the, the, this is, I don't, I don't know how many seasons this has, but there's uh, the first season, which I did watch, I think, fully. But in another season, they, they've all seemed to have gotten older, so Brainy looks like, uh, I'll show you. Right, so let's start with the, oops, with the pictures. Okay. So yeah, Havoc and Suze, there's our uh, superheroes that are on the spot. Uh, they get contact uh, before they get contacted. Uh, Lightning Lad and these two. I don't remember if he's Wolf Boy or what his name is because well, it's probably not Beast Boy. They get uh, they get sued by someone, and I, I I don't recognize this dude, but that's Lightning Lad. So yeah, they're all mad at Brainy because in the previous issues he used something to. Override their rings. Uh, these rings that they, they give them the ability to fly and communicate. They work as translators as well, so and everyone understands uh, each other. So and apparently, Brainy has also been elected leader. So he's now the leader, and there's uh, oh, there's the uh, bouncer boy. See, more a lot more boys. See, th th that's how faith should have been made. His power makes sense with his body. 
But as you know, so they're pissed, they take off their rings, they're like, here, Brainy, you know, you can't trust us, what if you turn evil again? Uh, Superman's like, low blow, lightning lad, low blow. Also, how flat is that butt? Anyway. You know, they're pissed, uh, but then, uh, it's here. Uh, a, a sour, a sour girl, her. She comes running to tell him about this whole thing with the spaceship that's happening. He's like, quickly, we, we all must go. Then we have um, uh, three girls. Uh, her power, the, the lady with the white hair, is that she can split herself, I think, to, yeah, three people. So yeah, she's there, they all go, quickly, we need help. They go, but... Um, Brainy's like, wait, you know, take your rings. They don't want to take them. They all leave. Brainy's obviously frustrated. You know, a bit like Superman. We need to go now, but we'll talk about this later, Brainiac. They're calling more, uh, more legioners. I think that's the word they use, more legioners. Why? Right, so they're trying to, they're, they're contacting uh, others. They're trying to figure out... What is the problem? Why is why you no know, the communication centers don't help the spaceships? Why all this is happening? Then White Witch arrives. Uh, I've never seen her before. I think, or maybe I haven't. Don't remember. So she tells him she knows the cause of this. It's um, a magician named Mordord. He was apparently banished from their magic world island because he was using um. No, he was practicing dark magic. Practicing dark magic, and they were like, no, 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 no. So they cast him away. And now, uh, what what he did, there's this universal language. I don't even know how to pronounce it uh, properly, but there's they have this universal language. And what he did was he spelled so that language would disappear. He said, uh, he says, you know, later on, like, like what God did. Everyone talked the same way according to the story, and then, I don't know, lightning, whatever, boom, different languages. I don't know how that helped him, considering now he has complaints and wishes and all that, but in different languages. Don't you think that made more work? Just say. So that, that's what he did, you know, soon he'll be able to rewrite things. And no one will be able to understand each other, as we can see, that creates chaos. We have examples from the real world, after all, with lack of communication. It's an interesting look for Supergirl. I wonder if I saw that one before. So here, you know, from fighting, uh, people can't understand each other. Uh, Lightning lads like, oh shit, I wish, you know, we had the rings. Brilliant, dude. You should have thought of this previously. And he's like, um... But here he calls him by name. His name is... Br Brain. Brian. So, you know, give me a lift. He helps him on his shoulders, and then he uses his lightning. And he gets everyone's attention, which doesn't really help since no one understands him. He's like, what is he saying? Uh, the dude here. Right, uh, meanwhile, uh, White Witch, uh, you know, she tells them what uh, what happened, who's responsible, it's Mordor, um, you know, the guys are starting to realize they don't understand each other, their languages sound foreign, they don't know, they're like, there's something wrong with our rings. With our rings, okay, look, we got some dinosaurs. There's a lot of ads in this one, too, but yeah, what can I tell you? I seem to not be lucky with ads recently. I actually saw some of this. Some years back. Alright, so then, you know, what do we do? A White Witch tells him, you know, she can't defeat Mordor. She doesn't have the same amount of power as him. But if they did... And the only way to stop him is if another, uh... Witch or Werelog defeats him. That's the only way to, you know, get rid of the spell. So Brainy has uh, has a plan. He's like, you know what, maybe if we have who could help. 
uh, you know, Southern, uh, sadder girl suggests, you know, what well, if we get everyone to help, but we can't, we don't have the time. And he's like, what if it's not how many we get, but who we get? So we have this uh, young gentleman here. He's the one that can help them. Apparently he'd been to, uh, to space school for cops, I think. So, uh, three girl goes to get him, you know, she splits and like, you, I'll be here, you go there, they need you there. She'll take care of the traffic problem. Alright, so they, uh, well, they already have a plan. They're gonna execute it. So he can, uh, one moment. Right, sorry about that. So this young, uh, young gentleman, Nemesis Kid, yeah, Nemesis Kid. Uh, his power is that he can prevent other people from using their, uh, their powers. Kind of, you know, kind of like anti. He, he turns off people's powers. Then he tells him, you know, we never tested it on magic, if it could work. And Brady's like, well, today's as good as any day to test it. Let's go. It has a 70-something percent success rate, so let's do it. So White Witch opens the portal, and look how, you know, Brady... Being a gentleman there. You first ladies into the lair of the evil warlock after you. How nice. So then they're like, okay, now we wait for our cute. I like Bugs Bunny. Ah, all the fun cartoons. Kind of fun, you know, they say, you know, we need to make cartoons less violent today. <laughs> they haven't seen these, have they? I mean, dynamite, ropes, throwing off of cliffs. All the good shit. Right, so, we... It, this dude literally has an evil laugh. He's like, mwahahaha. I, I'm telling you, all, all he needs... He needed a cat. They needed him here, petting a black cat. <laughs> Look at, what are we, in Austin Powers? <laughs> this is so funny, he's like... Yeah, obviously, this comic is obviously a thing for kids, so... Makes sense, but he's like... He's literally evil laughing. <laughs> oh, that was glorious. So yeah, it's like, I'm gonna be like God and, and shit. And then they appear. Uh, White Witch uh, throws magic at him, trying to turn him into stone. He's like, you can't defeat me. Then uh, Sa uh, Souther... Satyr girl try, uh, gives him. She's a, um, she's a telepath or no telekinesis, something like that. So she gives him a headache, makes it hard for him to think. And then uh, the the boys come in, and he's like, "Hello, I'd like to introduce you, mortal. Here's a la uh, nemesis kid. Nemesis kid. This is mortal." Do, do your shit, man. So th then he throws, he, he says, Avad, Avada Kedavra. I, and I read this, so I'm like, why does it sound so familiar? I'm like, wait, is that from Harry Potter? I even went to check in Google. Maybe I was wrong. I just thought it was a different version of Abracadabra or something. Is this, like, legal? Does J.K. Rowling know about this? I mean, I don't know if she actually owns... Does she actually own the rights to that, to Avada Kedavra? I mean, all I've seen on Google is just that it's from the book. It, I just, I'm just so curious right now. Is it... I mean, is it... Did, did, she, did they ask? Did they make a deal? Does she even know? I mean, random is just like a, a few times in this one, but fuck. Uh, unless here it has a different meaning, but Harry Potter is one of the three naughty curses not to do. So, I don't know, is it just so like... Wait, is that a Harry Potter reference? How odd! So, uh, I mean, I don't know. Like, it's a kitty comic, but then we're throwing death spells. Okay, fair enough. So, it doesn't work, you can't kill him. I wonder what Voldemort would have thought of this trick. You know, Lily doesn't die and protect Harry. She just puts her hand forward and, like, Voldemort's... What the fuck is wrong with my wand? 
Why isn't it working? <laughs> well, that, that would have been funny. So, uh, he's, now he has basically no power, so White Witch easily defeats him. More or less. So, it wasn't very, uh, you know, anticlimactic a bit. So, then they, <clears throat> they all go back, like, well, well done. Uh, this uh, colossal boy right here it was the one from the beginning that grew very big. So, that's actually kind of pretty. So yeah, and then here uh, he discusses with White Witch that maybe Nemesis Kid's powers are also, you know, somehow related to magic. And he says they don't know really much about him, he hasn't told, and although there is a possibility, he somewhat doubts, and then um, Lightning Lad comes and, you know, he wants to talk to him. They want their rings back. They're still not happy with what he did with the override thing. But you know that they, they acknowledge he's a good leader. So he gives them back and he says they're now, you know, I canceled the override thing. And if you want, we can revote the leader. But they're all, no, no. Now you, you stay, I think everyone will vote for you again. If we did do that, you're an excellent leader. You know, the brain apparently made a lot of uh, technological improvements and all that. Not just technological. And then he finishes when he still has business to attend to. And I'd not say that's about our story. Alright, so the, the art, I did like the... Well, to be fair, for me it's more nostalgic, so I can't really say. I really did love this cartoon. And this art style just brings back memories. But you know, it's nice, it's, it's not bad, it's uh... It's got pretty okay colors. Some of the backgrounds and uh, places are uh, not really, you know, impressive or anything, but, uh, you know, it is, it is the style. I can't really, really recall that well how, how the backgrounds are in the cartoon. Mm, I'm about to finish Static Shock, so maybe I'll watch this one afterwards. But yeah, and I do like the, the art style. It brings back memories, and overall, it's, it's not bad. Especially, you know, for kids. Alright, so the story... The story's pretty good, you know, it's... I guess if you already have the whole thing in a volume, you can just read through it. It's not really complicated. Or, or anything. I gotta say, the, the cover is pretty cool, but again... Like, way too dramatic for this. Like, you know, we got White Wish, and she's like, Oh no, and Mordor's eyes, and everyone's lying... You know, beaten and brainy's looking and screams and the rings are there and you're like, holy shit, what's gonna happen? And then all you have is, a, is a, you know, dude in a robe, a beard and laughing in a cartoonishly evil laugh. <laughs> and uh, and then they easily, quite easily stop him, so it's kind of like the, uh, an anticlimax. In a sense. But overall, this wasn't bad. Brought back some memories. Made me want to watch the, uh... The cartoon again. I also have the, uh... And I have number... I think I have number 20 or 21. So I'll uh, continue with this. And maybe I'll even look for this at some point. So yeah, if you'd like, uh, The Legion of Superheroes... I think it was... The cartoon was The Legion of Superheroes. Again, I, I don't remember if the rest of it was also in the title. But if you watch this and you know about them, I think you'll enjoy it. Or if you have kids, I think they'll also enjoy this. You know, it's nice. Uh, not, not, nothing naughty or anything. Uh, sure brought back memories. Oh, I think that's... I know, I think that's Superman. Man, I really want to watch the cartoon now. Alright, so that is it, folks. Uh... Till next time. Bye. Oh, but let me know if you if you did hear about them. I'd be interested. Bye.